be like the sky that's never sunny. It would be like the bee that can't make honey. Like a vase that holds no flowers, could never want to sleep without you, and I never want to wake without you. I never want to part with life abundantly. Never take a chance without you, and I'll never. Without you, I like it. I never want to part with life abundantly. Hello, my name is Frank, and this is TVL. Now, when you want to sing a song, it's good to know what genre you're singing a song in, or what makes up a genre. What, what do I mean genre? It's styles, different styles of music. Like we have reggae, we have R&B, we have pop, we have jazz. Once you know what makes up these genres, you can deliver the song to your audience the way you want to, in the genre you want to. Okay. Now, um, today I'm going to talk about R&B. Knowledge is really good. This really helped me a lot. So you just look at the audience you want to appeal to. If it's a young audience, you may want to do something in, in the line of R&B. If it's an um, older audience, it may not really appeal to them. But you, you're able now to decide what genre you want to deliver the song in and what makes up this genre. Like I said, R&B, which I'm going to talk about right now, is characterized by um, high notes, extreme high notes and extreme low notes. So you can have a note as high as... Or notes as low as yeah, yeah, and in R and B as well, you really need your mixed voice. You know, you can't do R and B. You can hardly do R and B without mixed voice. Okay, because usually R and B you belt sometimes, or even most times, you need your chest voice, you need your head voice, you need your mixed voice, and. In R&B as well, we have all these lengthy licks, lengthy runs, like oh, 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 something like that. You have amazing ad libs and so on and so forth. So um, R&B is short form for rhythm and blues, and it's a genre of popular African-American music that originated in the 1940s. So that's R&B. Alright? So when you're singing R&B, you know that these things have to be there. Length, lengthy licks and runs. Uh, extremely high notes. Extremely low notes. You know, you play with notes. You have... Um, yeah, one thing I didn't mention is versatile. In other words, it's not really rigid. Like when we have classical music, it's rigid. You have to sing every line at the point it ought to come in. For instance, what I mean is, like in R&B, you can um, not sing exactly where the beat comes in, or you can delay, or you can sing it earlier. We call that phrasing. It's a style called phrasing. Okay, in R&B, you're free to do that. In R&B, you can even growl. Okay, so in R&B, it gives you a lot more freedom than some other genres. So that's R&B. Um, find out what I'm going to talk about next. Bye-bye.